What's up everybody? This is Prepper Princess. So in every SHTF scenario, there's always one item that everybody needs, but nobody remembers. I'll give you three guesses. One, two, three. All right, let's get to it. All right, so it's very simple, refrigeration. And what we're gonna be talking about today is the Change More Electric Cooler or Refrigerator Freezer. Now I did a review on this one before, which is also from Change More. And as you can see already, there's some pretty big differences. So I just do just wanna go over the differences really quick. So first of all, this one has handles. This one comes with handles if you want to install them but it also comes already with these which i prefer so i just left the handles in the original packaging and it plugs into your car cigarette lighter so these are great for camping now the reason that i like the new one more first of all you can immediately tell that it's significantly larger and the other one works great i'll be giving this away as a christmas gift because i know somebody who wants it really bad so if you notice the way that this one opens it opens long ways okay which is good but i mean it's good if you're putting it in your passenger seat but i prefer using a uh, solar generator and leaving it in my trunk and because this one opens lengthwise which has an led light which is way cool and um, it's much easier to put in the trunk with this one i'm just going to open it up real quick you can see the chain so the chain is what keeps the top from falling over. So they've made that correction here. It has no chains. And there's a couple of cool features on this one. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. All right, let's see if I can get this. Okay, so there's this basket. Just go ahead and take a look here. Basket here. And with the basket, you can put in a separator, but you can also just take the basket right out. The whole thing. So if you've got food in the basket, you put the food in the basket and the basket just comes right out if you're going to put your groceries away. Now, one thing I've noticed is that here in Arizona, everybody's got one of these. <laughs> if you can get them, because they're really hard to get right now. There seems to be some sort of shortage on electric coolers, which is funny. Now, if you've ever heard the term heat rises, it's the same with cool air. Cool air drops down, so you're gonna be using a lot less electricity with a unit like this as you would to a standard refrigerator. Now I've been keeping this on the watt meter. So currently it's using less than one watt. That's 0 0.99 watts, okay? The highest I've seen it get was when I first plugged it in, it was, it was at 57 watts. This is a 60 watt, as you can see, it's right here, there it is, 60 watts but the highest I've seen it use is 57. And if you're in some sort of, you know, disaster like Texas had last year or a drought or something where you need to conserve electricity, but keep your food cold or frozen, this is definitely the way to go. Another thing about prolonged disasters is you're gonna have to think about ice. ice boosts morale but it also keeps fevers down if somebody is sick and in this new one you can take the basket out and thank goodness because <laughs> this is i know you're thinking why would you put ice cubes in an electric freezer well i just want to let you know that the whole ice cube tray fits which was not the case with the older one but it fits so you can make your own ice cubes in a prolonged disaster which to me is very important and if you are in the middle of winter and your solar units are not producing as much electricity as you'd like you know using 60 watts is a lot better than using 650 watts on an 11 cubic foot fridge isn't that right yeah that's right mommy less watts is good less watts is a good thing so all in all, I just wanna say that I really like the changes that Change More has done. They've really set the bar, I think, in terms of electric cooling standards. You put your sodas over here. This is the small refrigerator section where you put soda cans, and this is the freezer section where you put your foods. And here in Arizona, sometimes 
you just have to drive really far to get to some uh, food that is of a lower price, lower price point. For me personally, sometimes I will drive a full hour and a half uh, to get some food at a good price at Winco. Uh, that's in Henderson, Nevada, so it's quite a distance for me to drive. And that is why I was using this smaller cooler. I kept it in my car, so it's got a little bit of dust on it, but it was doing the job. It was helping me move my stuff, and now the bigger one is gonna help me even more. And to the person who I'm giving the old one to, she is really gonna dig this. It's funny, I, I go to California a few times a year, several times a year actually, and I brought this in because I had just bought some food I didn't wanna go bad. And she's like, oh my God, I want it, I want it. So in our family, she's a family member, <laughs> we point at something in somebody's house and we say, I want it, and eventually they'll give it to us. <laughs> I got a really cool uh, Native American rain stick from her that I'd been bugging her for for like five years, and I finally got it. So she is getting her wish with the old one, and I'm gonna hang on to the new one because I really dig it. Also, I can sit on the lid. <laughs> On this one, it has a sign that says no footsteps, but this one I've sat on the lid, works really well. See, no footsteps. So I'm really enjoying this product. So if you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description below to where you can get this on Amazon. Uh, the price point is pretty comparable to pretty much all of the electric coolers that I've seen. And in Arizona, I swear everyone uses these. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I'd never seen them before I moved here, but ever since I moved here, I see them in everybody's trunk. Like literally every single person has one of these. So if you're interested, link will be in the description and then I'll go ahead and go over the entire manual right after this video is over. But this guy, this guy is just a crazy doggy. Yes, and he loves his road trips, don't you? Don't you, he sure does. All right, folks, that's what I got for you today. And do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. All right, for the last part of the video, as always, we're gonna go over the manual page by page. I think that this is important and not a lot of people do this in their videos. So okay, let's get going. Okay, shows you how to install, install the, the bars. And you all can feel free to pause the video anytime you like. It shows how you how to connect the power supply. It's just a regular AC plug. And again, feel free to pause it if you like. I apologize for the glare, but I have to close my windows and turn on the light as opposed to having natural light because it's just so darn hot out. 112 degrees today. I do have UV film on my windows uh, to help with this, the temperature, which really makes a huge difference, but the glare, sorry about the glare, but it helps me save on the electricity by not opening the windows and keeping my blackout curtains there, as well as the UV protection. Oh look, energy saving, ha ha. We're all big on eco energy saving around here. It didn't make any abnormal noise, that's for sure. It never had any problems with working. And it's pretty, pretty basic, you turn it on, you let it do its thing and in about 15 minutes, it's all up to full cooling, about 30 to 32 degrees. I'm telling you folks, everybody here has one of these. I was talking to somebody the other day about his, and he said that he wanted to buy a second one, but he couldn't find any in stock anywhere. He said he'd tried Amazon, so I'm hoping when, when this video gets out that 
they will in fact be in stock and you guys don't have that problem. But yeah, we seem to be in a shortage of just about everything these days. All right, folks, there you have it. This is a good unit. Thumbs up. Got to clean my nails, but it's still a thumbs up. All right, folks, talk to you later. You have a great day.